still don't get it, do you, kid? It was never about you. She's a survivor. You know what your problem is? You think everybody's like you. Not you, kid. You're nothing like me. I hope you're still paying attention because now I'm gonna tell you the most important. <laughs> Never tell me the odds. Hey guys, Big Wars here. Today we're talking about Star Wars, more specifically Han Solo. So, Han Solo, he's the iconic scoundrel and space smuggler, everyone knows him. He was played by Harrison Ford in the original trilogy and sequel trilogy, and he even took center stage in his very own standalone film, Solo, A Star Wars Story. Or is it Solo, semicolon, A Star Wars Story? H has everyone, has anyone actually figured out which one it's pronounced as. Unfortunately, the movie was seemingly written off before it even had a chance to take to the big screen. This was because of behind the scenes turmoil, lack of marketing, and the dividing lines created between fans over The Last Jedi. And that stinks. The film was shot down before it even had a chance. But today, I'm going to try to give it a chance. This is why Solo, semicolon or not semicolon, a Star Wars story is great. So, I've watched Solo a lot. It's my third favorite Star Wars film, behind Revenge of the Sith and The Last Jedi. I've seen it many times, and I feel the criticism for it is completely unfair and wrong. Solo has a great cast of strong characters, absorbing new music themes, savvy tie-ins to Star Wars lore and memorable moments. moments. It even has Darth Maul! Who doesn't like Darth Maul? If you don't like Darth Maul, get out of here! This isn't a channel for you. Get out. Hell, I'll even go as far as to say this is the most underwritten Star Wars film ever. Then again, that's not saying much as the other Star Wars films did very good. Besides the Clone Wars film, we don't talk about that one. So why is Solo so good? Solo so good. Solo so good. Yeah, no, I'm reading the script and recording it. It sounds off. Tell me in the comments what you think. Well. Anyway, three reasons why Solo is so good. It's very action-packed, has great characters, and sets up Han Solo in a great way. So Solo, semicolon Star Wars story, is very action-heavy. In the first hour you see the thrilling speeder chase on Corellia, followed by Han fighting alongside the Empire in a blitzing sequence and a spectacular train station scene which had consequences for two of the main characters introduced to us, Val and Rio. Voiced by the Mandal Mandalorian creator John Favreau, who were sadly killed off. Speaking of characters, Han Solo and Beckett are great. They both play off each other, and whenever they share the screen, it's a great thrill. Amazing performances by both actors. And then we have the villain, Dryden Voss. He's not super interesting or anything, but he is cool and works for the film. He is, however, just a stepping stone for the main villain, Maul. And speaking of Maul, this film drew inspiration from what was put on the Clone Wars by making a bold step in putting Maul back on the big screen in movie theaters for the first time since 1999. But anyway, how does this film set up Han Solo for episode 4? Well, it shows us that he has a good heart, but also has trust issues. This shows us why he doesn't seem to care for Luke in the start of A New Hope, but at the end of the film he comes back for him. It explains why he is the way he is, and it's really great. It gives Han Solo more depth. Then again, Han Solo already had a lot of depth, but it can't hurt to have more. So all in all, Solo is a great film, and I didn't do it justice in the short video. I didn't touch the great and beautiful CGI, the amazing heartfelt moments, or even the story and why it's great. I really think you should watch Solo and give it a second chance. Ignore whatever you think about The Last Jedi or Disney Star Wars in general. Just watch Solo with no opinions or bias going in. And Tell me what you think. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you like and subscribe. Have a nice day, and bye!